Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. I'm Paul Clark, and today in my five minute tips, we're gonna look at cauliflowers, blooms and backwashes and how we can use them to our advantage. So let's get going. Cauliflowers or blooms or back runs as they're sometimes known can be the watercolour artist's worst nightmare but I personally love them and if you can learn to control them they can be a really useful addition to your list of skills. So let's start by just explaining exactly what they are and why they happen. When you paint a wash with a consistent wetness across the whole area, then it will dry naturally at the same time, leaving a flat, even wash. But here I've painted a wash with a much wetter paint in the centre. The wash on the edges, which has less water, has begun to dry and has caused a resistance to the wetter wash, which is trying to lay flat on the paper. This causes these strange cauliflower shapes to appear as the wetter paint tries to break through. One of the main reasons for pools of wetter paint appearing on your paper is when your paper starts to buckle from excessive wet washes. The paint will naturally sink into the valleys of your paper, leaving the paint on the hills to dry more quickly, and the much wetter paint in the valleys push out and cause the back run. Please see my video on watercolour paper on how you can avoid buckling paper. So how can we use these back runs to our advantage? Here I'm painting three fairly wet washes and in the first I'm dropping in a blob of clean water to force the back run. On the second one I'm dropping in a salt water mix. And in this third I'm using a mix using ordinary soap. Then again I'm using the same mixtures in a smaller blob at the top of each one. Once dry you can see the fabulous organic looking effects you can create and here is how I use them in my everyday painting. A few dollops of clean water into the wet wash and wow! Some amazing effects that would be impossible to try and paint. It's all done for you with very little effort needed. It works brilliantly in creating a misty effect in trees. Again, it's only clean water I've dropped in, and look what we get. Here we can create the impression of a wheat field just by painting in a few strokes of clean water. And in this example, we can simply create some breaking waves. For flowers and foliage, it's perfect as you get this really natural organic look just by running a few strokes of water into your wet wash. Here is a little poppy field where I've dropped a little dollop of water into each poppy as well as into the surrounding greenery. Here we go, in with a little dollop of clean water. When it's dry, I've just smudged with a piece of kitchen roll and softened some of the hard edges. But again, you can see some lovely organic looking back runs. 
So here are a few paintings where I've forced the cauliflower and managed to create some really interesting and totally unexpected effects. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and you've learned something along the way. I'm going to leave you now with a few outtakes of some flying cauliflowers. But in the meantime, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. So take care, everyone. Bye for now. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I'm Paul. Ow! Too early! You said too early! And today we're going to be looking at cauliflowers bloom. <laughs> and today we're going to be looking at cauliflowers. <laughs> oh, a bit too far over there. <laughs>